Alright. Shalom. We're the Hebrew Israelites from the Indianapolis camp of the Great Millstone. We're here to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well in teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth that be like to the speckled bird, also known as your Israelite foreigners and your so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. To you, we say Shalom. 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 <laughs> All right, let's get right into it. This is Romans chapter 8. Start at verse 5. So they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. Mm -hmm. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Right, so it's for they that are after the flesh uh, do mind the things of the flesh. And really those who are after the flesh or trying to uh, please the flesh, right, their mind is constantly, you know, set upon things or constantly focused on you know, how they can please the flesh. Right, they're uh, seeking after material things, not things that's coming out the scripture, right? right? They're trying to seek, you know, like, like the fastest car. All right, the, the, the most women are having the nicest home, all right? Yeah, having the uh, nicest, you know, closet, this, that, and the third, all right? And those are things that, you know, are not, you know, beneficial to the spirit, all right? It says, um, but they that are after the spirit, the thing of the spirit, all right? And we are those men that are following after the spirit, you know? Our mind is constantly, you know, focusing on how to please you, how to watch me outside, all right? How to do is please love him, you know, uh, wanting to seek, you know, more <coughs> wisdom. That's coming out the scriptures of you, how to watch me outside. Are right, you seeking a growth of the spirit of how you have that that shot, right? Yeah. 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 It's the book of John, chapter uh, the book of John, chapter six, verse sixty-three. It is the spirit that quickeneth; uh, the flesh profiteth nothing. And that's so, talking about the spirit of the Lord, all right? And when you go into that word quickeneth, that means to bring to life, all right? And it was the spirit of the Lord, all right? That has brought us to life. All right, that has brought us into this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. All right, knowing who we are, knowing who our power is, knowing the how about you shine in general. All right, being able to understand his judgments. All right, that was all the spirit of the Lord. All right, that, uh, that you how about you shine is bestowed upon us to be able to understand these things. All right, and since the flesh profited nothing, because this isn't of flesh, man. This is this is higher than the flesh. All right, this is this is a heavenly wisdom. All right, that's being bestowed upon us. All right, the words that I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. Right, ultimately, that was our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, all right? So we said the words I speak to you, and we know he spoke the words of his Father, all right? Which comes out of these scriptures, all right? These are the words that bring us to life, all right? Nothing of the flesh, and right? not these, you know, wayward false doctrines, not these, you know, different philosophies that sit out there to snare our people in traps, all right? To, uh, to continue to make them go off, all right? None of those things, you know, are, are beneficial to us, you know, the nation of Israel in general. All right, the only thing that's profitable unto us is the truth with not the understanding of the scriptures. All right. All right, this is uh, the book of Galatians, chapter 5, beginning in verse 19. And it reads, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, mm -hmm. fornication, mm -hmm. uncleanness, mm -hmm. lasciviousness, mm -hmm. verse 20, idolatry, mm -hmm. witchcraft, hatred, variance, Emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, verse 21, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and of such like, of which I tell you before, as I told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. And you see, all those things that we just listed off in that scripture are, are completely contrary to the ways of to the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, right? And when we go back in, in, the, uh, in the book of Romans 8, all right, we read later down, it tells you that a carnal mind is enmity with the Most High, meaning it's against the Most High. So constantly, you know, uh, giving into the flesh, all right? Constantly uh, doing things contrary to the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, which is, you know, appeasing the flesh. All right, that's not, you know, bringing you close to Yahweh Bashim Yashai. That's ultimately uh, uh, taking you further from him, all right? Verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit... Is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. All right. So what they're saying, if you walk in the spirit with love, and what is love? Fulfilling the commandments. Okay. Uh, joy, peace, long suffering, having that patience, gentleness, goodness, and faith. And that's uh, faith, faith is the, uh, one of the things that's needed along with the works and also keeping of the commandments. All right. Meekness, 
temperance, okay, against uh, such there is no law. So, so if you have those things, you know, as, as, as the scriptures say, we're not justified by the law, okay? But you have to walk in the spirit, all right? And these are the characteristics of walking in the spirit. Well, well, also, what, what are those attributes also? What? Of the elect. Kind. That's how the elect are going to be moving. Kind. Kind. And if the, uh, starting at verse 16, it says, this I say, when walking in the spirit, you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. All right? So you won't be doing those carnal things that are against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Yeah, it's a point. It's kind of a point. If you, like I said, if you walk in the spirit, you're not going to fulfill the lust of the flesh. But when you come across certain situations or certain things, all right, that spiritual always start to kick in, you know, with the most high, and the most high Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, like it if I did it or not. And if he doesn't like it, don't do it. All right? Just that simple. All right. I'm done. Okay. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, mm -hmm. but at the things which are not seen. Alright, so it's while we look while we, uh, while we look not at things which are seen, and what that talking about? The material and carnal things of this world, alright? You know, this is a crumbling kingdom. Alright, so we're not seeking to build, you know, in a, in a kingdom that's fallen as we speak. Or we're not, you know, looking to, you know, uh, uh, grad, you know, uh, all, all the uh, good-looking women are right, trying to, you know, get the, get the, get the uh, best home, all right? Anything that's appeasing to the flesh, that's not what we're trying to build upon, all right? We're trying to seek uh, the kingdom of heaven and receive that salvation, all right? Because ultimately, the, the things here, the material things of this life, all right, they're not going to reward you with salvation, all right? If you get caught, too caught up in those things, you can lose your salvation, all right? We don't want to lose it. For the things which are seen are temporal, mm -hmm. but the things which are not seen are eternal. I right, said so everything you see here, everything you see around you, all right, is temporal, meaning it's not going to last forever. All right, it says the things which are not seen are eternal. All right, what that's talking about? All right, the kingdom of heaven. Because none of us, it's like none of us, you know, sitting here, or nobody in general has seen the kingdom of heaven yet. All right, but that's what we're striving for. That's what we want to receive. Or right, we want that rest. Or right, we want to be delivered out of this wicked kingdom so we can't rest. All right, not have to worry about, you know, waking up, you know, for work in the morning. I don't know, to worry about having to pay taxes, this, that, and the third. All right? That's what we're seeking for, that rest. Wow. Uh, I got that word temporal. Let's go back to the Greek. Kaskaheros, uh, which is temporary for a while, endure for a time, for a season, temporary. All right, so ultimately, once again, it's not going to last forever because everything you see around you, all these material things you see around you right now, these things are going to be burned up with nuclear fire. Uh -huh. All right? Right. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I had to go back to that. Matthew uh, chapter 22, verse 41, it says, Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. I right, says, so Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation because most people, you know, uh, like I said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak because this is far above us. All right, these are these are spirits on the left hand side that we're dealing with. All right, they can ultimately you know overtake us and jump on us at any time, any uh, point in time given. All right, but that's why I said watch and pray because prayer is the number one weapon we have with this uh, this ministry. All right, pray for the Lord to uh, remove the wicked evil spirits you know, from around us and you know, get them uh, get them to stop putting the you know, wicked evil thoughts in our mind. All right, that's ultimately how I know you how about you outside is the only way you know we want to win this war. All right, this spiritual war that we need. All right, but just the spirit versus the flesh. All right. Secret sins or secret faults, all right? Because you could be doing something and, that, and you don't even know you're going on. Right? That's why you constantly ask the, uh, ask the Lord and repent to the Lord and ask for forgiveness, all right? Constantly ask for mercy, all right? And also, too, just like the baby life, you know, the Lord protect you. Know? Yeah, you, know, you can really go to the grocery store, the gym, yeah. you know, all walks of life. Just pray on everything that you do, that you walk, 
that you go the straight and narrow. You know? So it's good to see you guys on all that path. Right? That's right. You know, most people just like to work like that. That's right. You know, most people pray without ceasing, constantly praying to the Lord, so, you know, to move with the evil spirits from you. Because if you don't pray to the Lord, and you constantly let the spirits special with you, they can hop on you and make you do something that's going to piss the Lord off. All right? You don't know when that judgment is going to come. You know, like I said, you have to judge me every day. You know, all the time. So, by, by praying all the time, you know, you keep, those, you keep that evil away from you, those temptations away from you. All right? All right. Where? Yep. Let's look at uh, book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. I says, love not the world, not the things that are in the world. Right? You're not supposed to be sending your affection or your focus on the material part of things of this world because if that's the case, your focus is not on the hour by Shemiah Shah. Right? That's why I say, if uh, any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right? You can't be into these you know, worldly trends, all right, you know, uh, that they, you know, constantly you know, put on social media. Or you can't be into, you can't have your main focus on having you know, the best closet or the best shoes, just that the third, all right? Ultimately, that's not that's not bringing you closer to you. How about you not shot? And ultimately, what what's love according to the scriptures? All right, you keep the commandments. So if you if you are too in love with the world, because this world is uh, uh, set up on uh, mainly wickedness, so, and we know wickedness is against you. How about you not shot? So if you love this world, or you're not walking in love with the Father, or you're not trying to keep the laws and the commandments to the best of your ability. All right. Now it's okay to have things. You know, you might have cars, a house, or whatever. But the thing is. You're not attached to it to where you can't let it go, all right? Because, you know, us and men, we got stuff we like. But at the, at the end of the day, we're willing to leave it off for y'all by Chanel Shine. You know, we're not going to uh, uh, not do the right thing just because we want to keep our car in the possession. Right, you know? Yeah, as it is written, you know, use this world, not abuse this world, all right? And we're not, you know, seeking to make it in this kingdom, all right? Because there's a, a kingdom of coming uh, that's, that's meant for us, all right? We're in love with righteousness, all right? Verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but it's of the world. Right, because everything that, you know, every, all these uh, worldly principles, all these worldly holidays, and all the ways of the world, all right, they're, they're, they're totally contrary to Yahweh Bashem Yashah, all right? And also Yahweh Bashem is not dealing with anything, all right? So the Lord the Lord's given us our own high holy days to follow Right, not the uh, not the uh, holidays of this world. All right, like the scripture tells us, you know, we're not the way to heathen. Right, you know, Christmas is the way to heathen. Thanksgiving is the way to heathen. Uh, this this past Memorial Day is the way to heathen. This upcoming uh, Fourth of July is the way to heathen. Right, all these holidays that, 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 that this world celebrates, all right, these are all ways of the heathen, not ways of Yahweh Bashem And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of Yahweh, Hashem Yahushua, abideth forever. All right, so as the world passes away, meaning this current rulership and this current age that we're in, all right? As the scriptures say, uh, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it to follow it. All right, so what you're seeing right now is a transition of power. All right, transition uh, uh, from the wicked being in rulership, all right, to so the righteous being in rulership, starting with first and foremost, our Lord Yahweh Shah. All right, we got King David up under him. All right, then you have the, uh, then you have the rest of the governing body. And we're alongside, all right? It says, he that built the will of the Most High abides forever, all right? How do you do the will of the Most High? Being obedient to Yahweh Bashi Yashai, trying to follow his law, and his commandments to the best of your ability. Because when it's time to be in the flesh, are right, we going to mess up at times? All right, but the scripture also tells us that if just man falls seven times, he gets back up. All right, so no matter how hard you fall, all right, the Lord is trying to look, you know, how, how you get back up. All right, now, I'm not saying, you know, go and just do, just blatantly do wickedness just because you want to. All right, you know, we, we mess up, all right? But ultimately, we can't, like the scripture say, as it is written, but not just sins weigh you down. All right. Mm -hmm. and ultimately, the will of the Lord is, you know, preaching the right doctrine. All right, not these false religious doctrines. I right? see, you know, certain groups of Israel teaching. All right, like I say, He has built the will of the Most High, abiding forever. Right? If you're trying to follow the scriptures to the best of your ability, and right? if you're trying to preach these doctrines, prove it sincerely, the true doctrine. All right. I am having faith too. You know, yep. you gotta have that faith. Mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's what it's all about. All right. If you don't have faith, you're not going to do anything. Right. Right. This Hebrews 11 and 6 says, but without faith, it is impossible to be so. So, if you need that summit to Yahweh, must believe that He is real and that He is a reward of things that's really true. 
diligently seek him. So I said, without faith, it is impossible to please him. Okay? You cannot please him without having that faith and that faith that he is. You know, he's going to uh, do what he said he was going to do. You know, he said, you know, the Lord uh, said he's, he's not a, he's not a, scripture said, uh, for he is not a man, he's going to not lie. He's going to prepare for him. Okay? Right. He's going to hold fast to his word, prove himself. You know, at times we have to remind him of his word too. You know, we, we in those uh, particular uh, uh, jams, you know, Lord, this is what you said. You mm -hmm. know, this is what you said. And he's, he's, he's going to honor his word. And that's, and that's what we have to do. You know, we, we made a covenant with uh, the Hell by Sunday. So just like he uh, honors on his end, we have to honor, honor on our end. And one of those things is having that faith. Believing that he is. Um, believe us or not. John 20 uh, is talking about Thomas. Uh, when Thomas, we saw him and uh, uh, didn't believe. And uh, when I was like, told him, there are those who have not seen me that we will believe. That's the type of faith you have to have. Right? And by definition, uh, faith, uh, Hebrews uh, 11 and 1. Uh, let me get that. You got it. Just go to it. You got it? Okay, go ahead. Hebrews 11 and 1. So faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of, of things not seen. So that's like when um, an architect is just designing a building. You know, the building just doesn't pop up. You know, he has a concept in his mind, okay? And then that concept goes to paper, okay? And then it goes to the, 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 the paper and you understand that everything that goes into it to make it function what it's supposed to be, have the form and the function it's supposed to have, it starts to be built, okay? It starts to come into existence. You know, and you can you can see that from once the dirt is starting to move, and when the foundation is laid, you know the walls and beams and columns start to go up. It starts to come, and it's going to be just like you saw it in, in your mind. It's that belief, it's that substance. You know, you, you, you're going to uh, believe the things that's that's going to come to pass. All right, and like I said, it starts it starts here first. All right, it starts to kill. the kingdom of heaven starts to fill us. All right, God, you know, it's God. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 31. Right. And they that use this world as not abusing it, so the fashion of this world has it right. right. So also, you know, we just here to get in and get out. And now, you know, we got a job, you know, to pay off certain things. But ultimately, the main goal is to get in and get out. I you know, actually seek to build in this wicked kingdom that's currently from you. Right? Because if you're trying to build, you know, if you're trying to build in this uh, exactly. current, if you're trying to build in this current kingdom that's coming, well, you're gonna follow along with it. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. This is uh, good, good. This, uh, Micah two and ten. <laughs> Spirit, <laughs> arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. I say it's rise you in the park. This is not your rest. All right, this ain't our rest. All right, this is not our kingdom. This is Esau's kingdom. All right, he's the one that's supposed to be giving it up. Not you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, what y'all supposed to be doing is seeking the Lord. Y'all about to be is seeking the wisdom that's coming out of Scripture. All right, ultimately, the Lord wants us to depart. All right, because this world is full of wickedness and iniquity. All right, it's a. Uh, it is polluted. And that's a, it's a, it's a, yep. It says, uh, no, you're all. This is a Micah 2 and 10 again. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. All right, it's polluted, you know, with these you know, different, you know, wicked doctrines, these different, these, you know, different wicked philosophies, right, the, the wickedness in general. All right, ultimately, these things are set up to lead you further astray from your power. These so-called Negro mm -hmm. Latinos and Native Americans, these things are set up to lead you away from your power by some shot. All right, they say it shall destroy you with a sore destruction. Because once you, we know that once you uh, turn your back on your house, boss, you shot, and keep uh, going astray from your house, boss, you got shot, you're on the path to death and destruction. Uh, All right. Well, if I may add it, uh, saying it was polluted also means, that means unclean. And that was one of the characteristics of, of walking in the flesh. Okay? You don't want to, um, you know, it, it is polluted. You do not you need to be partaking in the ways of, 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 of this country. You know, it's, it's pretty obvious right now, the way things stand, you know, we are those people. 
okay? You see that everybody else is, 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 getting, uh, is getting the reparations and help, and, uh, but, and, and that's not happening with the nation of Israel. You just don't know who you are, okay? And how do you uh, become the leader? You come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, okay? Learn what your heritage is. Because if you don't see it by now that we are the public, that we are the chosen people, you know, you're just not going to get it. You're just not going to get it. And, what, you know, the time is past and past and past, and, you know, uh, they, they keep denying you. What was it? He said, if you're not uh, uh, black, you don't vote for me. You know, that's, that's, the, that's, that's a slap in the face. You know, you hear all these other uh, uh, nations, uh, hate bills and stuff like that. That's not the case. Yet. As a matter of fact, uh, didn't they just pass one where the police can pretty much uh, beat you up now? More, uh, uh, more harassment without with, with impunity. They can, they you know, can, they can pull you over without problem. Sorry. Yep, pull, pull you over without, without probable cause, and uh, um, you know, be, be a little bit more hard, a lot more harsh with you than all of you are. You know, they will shoot you anyway, but you here again. That's why we have to rise and depart. It's like the brother said, this place is not our rest. And it's becoming very clear right now that the Alpha Shemi, Alpha Shemi, that's all we got. That's all we got. That's right. That's all we got. You got to come back to him. Okay. Well, this is what Isaiah chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Born to them, born to them that decree the right decree, the right grievances which, which they have prescribed. No, it's that the right use is that they have prescribed. So that you know, they're all throughout the night, you know, writing these things up to uh, destroy Jake. Okay, but you still want to go to go to help, uh, go, go and get help from them. All right, they have they have they have prescribed these things. You know, just when you think, let, let, let's 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 say for example, with that um, when they was looking at the um, Emancipation Proclamation. They are already putting the 13th Amendment on the books to make slavery legal at the same time. So their intent was to never let you go. Okay, and that's what it was. Uh, uh, it says in uh, I think it's Jeremiah 50 and 33. You know, uh, they, they viewed and Israel were oppressed together. They refused to let them go. Just roughly paraphrasing. So yeah, you know, they write those things, those laws to keep us going off, to, to, to keep us under their under their thumb, to keep their uh, uh, foot on our necks. You know, because they know we are the chosen people, okay? But they, 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 they can't stop it, okay? That, that third temple is being built right now. There's nothing they can do about it. Absolutely nothing they can do about it, no matter how hard they try. And that's why they're getting as, as mad as they are, coming down with this great rap. You know, making all these laws to, you know, to pretty much handle the two-thirds. You know, of course, some of our own will be martyrs in that. But yeah, they, they, they're about to come down hard with this stuff. I don't care if that, uh, what they said, that food uh, thing was rejected. Yeah. Um, where uh, if they tried to uh, turn that, yeah, yeah, the, the, the World Health Organization, yeah. uh, the, 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 turn over any type of uh, health mandates and things like that, it was rejected. So what? You know, he said he's coming down with great wrath. So if, if that failed, you best believe something else is coming. So right. these prophecies will not fail. Even if you go to the march to prove their passion, right, that's why you got to stay in the spirit. Right? Yep. All right, because you want the protection from your house, you got shot at right, Yes, they might be coming up with all these things, man, but the men of the Lord are going to be okay, man. All right, through the spirit of power of your house, you got to shot no matter what they pass, no matter what the priest they come out with. All right, if you're in the spirit, all right, you're not going to put those in the flesh, you got to shot at them, you have your back, man. Okay. okay. Romans chapter 8, verse 6. For to be carnally minded, minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. I says to be carnally minded is death. I right? mean, that you know, being carnal, carnal is the flesh. Now, it says to be carnally minded to be death, alright? And the scripture tells us that the ways it says death, alright? What are the what are the things that you know, the flesh is leading unto? Alright, sin. Right, because the, the flesh is completely against the Alabama Shriya Shriya. The flesh wants to do things that, you know, uh, 
what's to, what's to make yourself feel good. All right, mostly the thing, most of the things that make you feel good are contracts and lost things to men to go out watching that shot. All right, hey, real quick, for example, like to be calmly minded, like you camps have uh, guns at camp. Yep. All oh, right, man. That's calmly minded, man. You know, that's not walking and spraying, you know, big swords and knives on you, man. Yeah, we're, hey, we're out there having a spiritual warfare, man. You know, that's calmly minded, man. You should go lead to your death, man. Well, that, you've already put a big ass target on your back, man. It's not using wisdom. This right here is our true weapon right here. All right, yep. We don't need no gun. We don't need no AR-15, no pistol. All right, no, 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 none of that. All right, all we need is a word and a face in the eye of watching that shot. All right? God, man, if, if, if I may add, just like you said, this word is our, is our true weapon. Look, they, they can't even accept us proving who they are in this book. Haven't had to raise a finger to do nothing. You know, telling them what their history is and matching it up in the scriptures. They can't take that. Okay? And very upset. So the thing is, like I said, we don't have to be strapped down with, with, with those things. Okay? This this word is like I said, it's like a two-edged sword. Got that right here. Yeah. That's oh, all the way to the bone. Before you get that, uh, if somebody gets second to read this, check the team. I'm a spirit. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. I said, so though that we're in the flesh, we don't war after the flesh. Meaning, yeah, although we're in the flesh, uh, we're not trying to seek to please him. Right? That's not our main goal. We're not seeking the mainly flesh things, but uh, we're mainly seeking the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. And we're trying to seek Yahweh Bashim Yashai in general. Like right? how to please him, right? being obedient to Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Right? Verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not hard, but for mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. Right. Once again, this is our main weapon right here. I know we don't need no guns when we out there preaching the word of Yahweh by Yahshua, because our Lord told us in the book of Matthew 18, when two or three are gathered, and when two or three are gathered in my name, I am in the midst of you. All right, so also we know that goes from more than two or three, but if you gather in the, in the name of Yahweh by Yahshua, through the spirit of power of Yahweh by Yahshua, he will be there with you. Right, he's not gonna let anything harm you. All right, to the, to the pulling down strongholds because this truth dispels and uh, debunks any other religion, so-called religion or uh, philosophy or doctrine out there. All right, nothing compares to the truth. All right, casting down imaginations mm -hmm. every high thing that exalting itself against the knowledge of the Most High and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of a Mashiach. Alright, okay, once again, you know, there's truth being able to you know, be both with these, uh, these different religions, philosophies, and doctrines. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, ultimately, you know, all these different religions, philosophies, and, uh, and doctrines are, are, are completely against the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yashar. Alright, that's why uh, the scriptures say in uh, the book of Acts, uh, if this be a man, it will come to naught, but if it be with the Most High, uh, I got that right. This is uh, Acts chapter 5, and verse 38. Mm -hmm. It says, And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this word be of men, it will come to naught. Mm -hmm. That's why you see when people come against you know, the men of the Lord, or, you know, people trying to you know, debate or battle the apostles, or you know, the, the elder bishop in front of them, and even the brothers in front of them. All right, they don't succeed because the spirit of power, how about you got shot with us and not them? All right, we uh, sure just had that on Friday. <laughs> yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Quick one now, just now. This is Luke 21 and 15. It says, For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. So, us, really, man, it's not even us speaking. All right, we're animated by the spirit of power, how about you got shot? All right. The more Yahweh Bashim Yashai gives us the word to speak, uh, you know, being able to, you know, uh, properly break down the scriptures. All right, this isn't of us. All right, this is, this is of a higher power. This is a Yahweh Bashim Yashai. All right, this isn't a man. All right, you can tell it's not a man. All right, because the ultimate, you know, my brothers can say this too, as well as myself. I right, when that spirit can you, man, it, you damn near feel like a different person. Right, you know it's not you. 
And you know that the Lord is controlling you. All right? Quickly. This is Luke 1, chapter 1, verse 70. And it reads, As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. All right? So like he said, he was spake, he was spoken uh, by the mouth of the holy prophets. And it's the Lord's servant. It says the Lord do nothing. He built his secrets into his service to prophets. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he has done that since the very beginning. Okay. The very beginning. Always spoken by the mouth of his prophets. Okay. Uh, and that's when, that's when he told Jeremiah in Jeremiah 1 and 5. You know, that before he formed him in the womb, he, he set him up uh, he set him apart. Okay. He ordained him as a prophet. Okay. Roughly paraphrasing. So just want to back the brother up. You know, that's the way it's always been. You know, for those people who are saying, you know, these things are done a man, well, he's, he's always spoken by the mouth of his men. All right? So Hebrews 4 and 12, this is for the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Ah, and they say, you know, let's just, just roughly paraphrase, you know. That this this word, you know, can cut you so deep you hurt but will never bleed. Okay. Right. <laughs> it, 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 it cuts your spirit. Okay. Right. It, it brings it like I said, it, it's it's a discerner. Okay. It's gonna bring forth those truths, you know. Make make people come out. Once we start going in and you know, uh, using these scriptures to prove uh who we are and who our enemies are. You know, the world has been uh, in, in shambles going all the way back to, I believe, the 70s, yeah. 1970s. Yeah, once once that started to happen, I mean, that's that's when everything started. You know, and since it's been on, on YouTube, we, we look at it now. You know, the brothers are not doing anything wrong, just quoting scripture, okay? And then you're getting paid to snatch down, okay? Because you're coming right out of the Bible, okay? And, 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 and here's the issue with that. It was uh, 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 Ronald Reagan, uh, uh, February 3rd, 1983, by executive order, I believe it was proclamation number 5018, where he said that the 1611 KJV is the law of the land. That's y'all president. Who said that, okay? He said that. Now you got a problem with it because it's exposing you, okay? That word, that word is, is, is cutting deep. I'm loving it. I don't know if the right, brothers right. I, 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 I'm loving it, you know, right. to, just to see everything walk off of the pages just like he said it was going to happen, okay? So, so, pretty much, you know, by staying in these scriptures, you know, that again, it's going to be our, our way to stay stable, you know, it's, that's that wisdom and knowledge, you know, it's yeah. going to be the stability of our times. Fear of him uh, is it, it, our treasure, okay? Mm -hmm. So, that's the thing, you know, you stay, you stay on top of this, you know, you can use this word to do, you know, bring as much good to the elect, but do as much damage to an enemy that needs to be done, okay? And, and it's ours, it belongs to nobody else. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? It belongs to us, all right? So people like you, vocab, no matter what you say, you know, you, you can't do nothing with this, no matter how you try to twist it, and you've done anything. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 14. Yeah. Wherefore, thus saith you have by Shemashah power of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words in thy mouth fire, and this people would, and it shall devour them. Right. Oh, man, so you know, this word, it completely, it completely just devours people, all right? That's why, you know, people like to buck up. You know, when the word is being brought, you know, demons, you know, hop on certain you know, uh, individuals because they can't take what's coming out the word of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right? Because often they know they're wrong, but they don't want to be held accountable. Mm -hmm. right? But nonetheless, you're still going to be condemned because the, the men of the Lord, you know, Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is reaching out to you, do the men of the Lord. Right? Give you the wisdom of what and what not to do. Right? Because you still want to uh, go according to your own ways, uh, according to your own heart, according to your flesh. Right? Trying to fulfill the lust of the flesh. All right? But you, you don't want to take you to what's coming out the scripture, all right? That's ultimately why you want to buck up, uh, spit on the men of the Lord, talk shit about the men of the Lord, you know, talk shit about the Lord himself, all right? So ultimately, that's going to that's gonna get you killed, all right? Because like, like, uh, like our lawyer outside told us, all right, every idle word, all right, every idle word shall man give account in the day of judgment, all right? Hosea chapter 6, verse 5. Therefore have I hewed them by the prophets. I have slain them by the words of my mouth, 
and thy judgments are as the light that goes forth. Hey, somebody get that word you real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it says, uh, go to the, the blue letter. It says, <laughs> to hew, split, to cut, car, mm. square, mm. engrave. Mm. Uh, uh, to say, yeah, to dig, clean, divide, you make, cut out, dig out, cut down, query, you were. Uh, to hew in pieces. Mm. <laughs> yeah, to hew into pieces, cut into pieces, to be cut from. To hew from. All right, so you heard the word cut a lot, and as the word is brought out, all right? I'm going to put the Hebrew chapter 4, verse 12, that the, that the word of the Most High is quick in a two edged sword. All right, and what do you do with a sword? It's sharpening yeah. sharp any two edged yeah. sword. All right, what do you do with a sword? You cut. All right, and also you can see that. Because, right, you know, let us you know, uh, be out there, you know, in a cheap place in Concourse or in a, like, you know, in a highly populated area, when we bring out a scripture, you know, that's uh, going against, you know, the, 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 the uh, alphabet mafia, I right, we read some lesson, get them, they get shit, they get shit like, <gasps> you talking about me? Mm -hmm. and that's how this word hits, man. Yeah, yeah we, we don't even have to point you out. <laughs> Just hearing the words, cuz. Hey, you know, it's like they used to teach us when I little. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words never hurt me. That's a lie. Yep. <laughs> these, <laughs> words, these, <laughs> words, these words are hurt. <laughs> these words hurt. <laughs> Like that term human normally goes into like cutting down the tree. Yep, yep. So like with an axe, like I said, it's still going to cut. Yep. Mm -hmm. Eat those trees, they fall down hard. Yep. yep. Faster. Mm -hmm. Timber. Timber. <laughs> hey, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Yep. yep. <laughs> I got this. Yeah, like you said, it's two edge. And when you come one way, come yep. back the same way. Yep. Cut yep. it down. That's it. The book of uh, Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. The, test yeah. uh, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise and simple. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's just uh, going into what the brothers are saying. The word of the Lord um, is perfect, and so it, it converts it converts the soul, you know, like also with the cutting and breaking down, you know, it changes your form. So those that come into this understanding and this knowledge, we start to shed the old man. And then the second part says, um, the testimony of the Lord is sure, make it wise and simple. Because at one point, we were all simple in this world, you know. And and then, of course, we came amongst men who had also been converted and made it and made the word of the Lord plain upon tables that we may understand it. And then we went out and we talked that as well. Right. But some people are cut by the word of the Lord, and they can't take it. And so these go back to the ones that have been predestined. To get this understanding. Yeah, because technically we've all been honed down. That's yep. why we're in the position we're at. Yep. Yeah, I'm shutting off that old man. But some people get offended by the word. Yep. And, and what? Fall away from it. They, they don't seek anymore. All right. But we heard it. What? We heard the terror of the Lord. And then we were persuaded, right? And we've seen the, you know, the good things out of this. You know, oh, man. You know, this has changed my life in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Not negative, you know? Mm -hmm. Mostly, you know, that's why I remember how Shai said that blessed be that not offended with me. Yep. Also, if you offended at what's coming out the word of the Lord, there's something wrong with you. Now, ain't nothing wrong with Yahweh watching that shot, but because we know Yahweh watching that shot is perfect, there's something wrong with you and the business because you know you're doing things that are contrary to the word of Yahweh watching that shot, but you don't want to be held accountable. All right? Yep. The book of John, chapter 6, verse 63, it says, It is the spirit that quickens me, the flesh crosses nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, they are life. So that came out again, all right? And then that word quickness, all right, going into bringing a life, all right? Now the spirit of the Lord, all right, that's in the scriptures, all right? And you know, the wisdom of God's understanding that the spirit of the Lord, you know, is given forth, all right, through his men, all right? That's what brought us to life. All right, you know, back to knowing who we are, back to knowing how about you outside, being able to understand this book. All right, that's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh about you outside, all right? You want me to go? ahead. This is uh, 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 9. It says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out 
of darkness right. into his marvelous light. And uh, that's talking about the nation of Israel, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? The more Yahweh Bashim outside has set us up, you know, way above these other heathen nations, all right? And mainly with, uh, with the law, all right? So ultimately to uh, show up what the praise of him and how are we doing it, all right? Right now, going out on the highways and byways, all right, preaching this truth, all right, the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashim outside, doing a video of Christmas, all right, talk to me, they said, who has uh, called you? Uh, out of darkness into this marvelous light. Right now, that darkness right, is, uh, is uh, interchangeable with ignorance. Mm -hmm. right? Because at one point, we didn't know who Yahweh Bashim Hashai was, and we weren't, you know, we were not conscious of his ways. Right? But, you know, the Lord, of course, you know, out of whatever we get into, you know, a lot of brothers in the Christian churches, you know, some might have been into Islam. Right? But the Lord, who got the elect, comes from all different walks of life. Right? But the Lord has pulled them. Right, out of the darkness of this world, out of the ignorance of this world, has brought him to this marvelous light, has brought him to this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. All right? Son, if I may add, he says uh, that you should show forth the praise of him who have called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. So with that being said, you know, with him calling us into his light, we in turn praise him by being that light. Okay? He says, let our light so, so shine before men. All right? And that's the, essentially giving him praise for the, for the light that he's called us into. And that's the, uh, the, the, the wisdom, the understanding, and knowledge of these scriptures, okay? You got it, Lord? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. James, James 4 and 8, it says, Draw nigh to the highway. Draw nigh to Yahweh Bashim Yashai, and he will draw nigh to you. Christ says, Draw nigh to Yahweh Bashim Yashai, he will draw nigh to you. All right, this isn't the thing where you make Yahweh Bashim Yashai submit to your will. Uh, you gotta hone yourself down, humble yourself, all right, seek your house by outside first. All right, then the Lord will start start uh, drawing close to you, all right, and building you up in the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of his truth. All right. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. I says, cleanse your hands, you sinners, and how do you do that? By repenting, turning away from your sins. All right, coming back to your house by outside, trying to follow the law, respect your commandments, and against your ability. All right, it says, uh, purify you, uh, your hearts and double minded. Now, your heart going to your mind, which uh, the scripture tells us in Romans chapter 12, not to uh, be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. All right, so putting off the ways and the thinking of this world, I right, start thinking according to the scriptures. All right? Please, uh, Psalms 119, verse 9. It says, It says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. Yeah, right. that's that's the only way you can clean up, you know, that uh that, that filth that's on you. All right, by taking heed to the ways of Yahweh Bash Shah, all right, that's coming out the scriptures. It says, With my whole heart have I sought thee. Oh let me not wander from thy commandments. I right, says with his whole heart, meaning his whole mind, all right, has he sought thee. I right, you know constantly meditating on ways to please Yahweh Bash Shah. And thinking of how to grow and the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, and it says, um, let me not wonder from thy commandments. And that's why it's imperative you know, to constantly make the praise of Yahweh Bashim Yashai take not thy Holy Spirit from you. Right. Because once we know the Lord takes his Holy Spirit away from you, all right, we pretty much out there. All right, we don't want to wonder from the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yashai because we know anything contrary to Yahweh Bashim Yashai rewards us for death. All right. Thy word have I hid in my heart, mm -hmm. that I might not sin against thee. Thy word have I hid in my heart or in my mind. I mean, constantly meditating on how not to piss the Lord off and move towards the wrath. I constantly, you know, harping on ways to please Yahweh by Shia Alright? It says, Blessed art thou, O Yahweh by Shia Shai, teach me thy statutes. And also, you know, we want the Lord to teach us the statutes. Because we know uh, we know we were in the wrong, right? and we want to make things right with Yahweh Bashim Yashai. And that's why we're trying to please the Lord to the best of our ability, right? even though we being in this flesh, all right? We're still trying to show the Lord that, you know, we're giving the effort to please Him to the best of our ability, all right? Yeah, that's how you walk in the Spirit and yep. not walk in the flesh. That's you know right. By meditating in the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yashai, it's your spirit, which is the truth. Anything else that's adverse to that or contrary to that, is walking in the flesh, which is ultimately wickedness, you will be committed in the sin upon sin, iniquity after iniquity, and therefore judgment is going to be rendered against you because you chose not to follow the ways you have by Shema Shah. Uh, let's put one. It's the book of John, chapter 17, verse 17. Mm -hmm. Sanctify them by thy truth. Mm -hmm. Your word is truth. 
Alright, now if somebody gets the word sanctify, I got it. I'll be sanctify is uh, set apart as mm -hmm. or declare holy, consecrate, free from sin, purify. And you know what? That's what separates the elect from this world. Right? That, the, that the elect, right? they have the true wisdom and knowledge of understanding the scriptures. I know where, whereas the rest of the world, you know, they're often to you know, go with philosophy and go with doctrine, uh, just different perverse ways of the world. Right? That's you know, the reward for uh, making that division right, between the elect all right, and the, and the people of this world. All right, you know, the more will be in that number, the more will we can retain and hold on to this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Uh, this is uh, St. John 3 and 19. It says, and this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light because right. their deeds were evil. I was back then, you know, that light was our Lord Yahweh Shai, all right? And as it is written, stated by our Lord Yahweh Shai, he said, He is the light of the world, all right? Wow. Now, ultimately, He came, and was condemning the people for the wickedness, all right? But you know, what did they do? They bucked up against Him, right? they spoke evil on Him, all, right? all because He was condemning them for their wrongdoings, all right? So likewise, this time, all right, the more. The Lord's uh, Spirit dwells within us, all right, so we, you know, we are the light, you know, of the world, you know, in these times, all right, you know, through the Spirit of power, Yahweh Bashim Yashai, all right, the more Yahweh Bashim Yashai is speaking to us, all right, this isn't of us, all right, now Yahweh Shai's Spirit is being on us, all right, we're, con we're condemning this world for its wickedness, all right, but what do these people do? They bump up against us, all right, you know, try to, try to, you know, uh, spit on us, you know, lay hands on us, and do all manners of wickedness towards us, just because we're coming out the scriptures, I ain't telling them what they're doing wrong, but these people don't want to be corrected. All right, like the scriptures say, as it is written in the book of Proverbs, uh, he being offered of food, hardens his neck, to suddenly be destroyed without remedy. So go ahead and you know, keep keep uh, uh, keep bucking up against the, the Lord, keep bucking up against the house boxing outside, keep bucking up against his men. That's only leading to your death and destruction. All right. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, Uh, this is uh, St. John 3 and 20. Mm -hmm. For everyone that doeth evil, hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Alright, because ultimately, you know, if you constantly doing evil, alright, ultimately you hate Yahweh by Shem outside, alright? That's the most you like to quote every now and then, you know, don't shoot the messenger, right? Because ultimately these are not our words we're speaking. Alright, these are the words of Yahweh by Shem outside that he's speaking to us. So ultimately, if you don't hate us, or you hate your Howard Bosch from outside. I got that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Hold on, look at the TV that is in. Yep. It says, John 3 and 20. For everyone that doeth evil, hateth the light. Neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. I guess ultimately, you know, these people are too caught up in their wickedness that they don't mm -hmm. want to you know, come to the light or come to the true wisdom of God understanding the scriptures right? because they don't want to be held accountable for their sin. Right? You know, they, think, they think nobody can tell them nothing. But that's why they continue to uh, continue when they witness and shut off the truth of Yahweh about Shemuel Shah. Uh, some of you are saying, uh, it's the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 16. Look, yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Uh, he that hateth you, mm -hmm. or so I hear. He that heareth you, heareth me. Mm -hmm. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. You know, the more, the more Yahweh Shah right there, it's on a, it's on a, uh, a structured order right there because first and foremost before our Lord Yahweh Shai comes to heaven Father Yahweh all right and then after Yahweh comes Yahweh Shai and Yahweh Shai is dealing through us all right so ultimately it's, it's a hierarchy because first if you hate us all right ultimately you know you hate Yahweh Shai all right and if you hate Yahweh Shai you ultimately hope, hate the most high Yahweh all right ultimately as it is written in the book of Proverbs all they that hate me love death all right Second Ezra, Second Ezra, chapter 8, verse 55. And therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. All right, like the, uh, the next chapter over, the scripture tells us, um, uh, uh, somebody get a chapter. This is a uh, Second Ezra, chapter 9, verse 13. <laughs> He's like, <"Dag> <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, start verse 10. Second yeah. so, Ezra 9, uh, mm -hmm. starting at verse 10. For such as in their lives have received benefits and have not known. Alright, so you know, a lot of people in this world, you know, they in insecurity, they're looking up. 
they have a knowing how about you not shot. I, I see the celebrities, you know, now and then when they get a reward or something, you know, I would like to die for this and that, but they really don't follow after the Wednesday, how about you not shot. Alright? say And they they have loans my law mm -hmm. while they had yet liberty and when that yet place of repentance was opened up to them, understood not the despise. Alright, that place of repentance is open now, alright? Now when the soon come, the Lord, he's gonna throw the door those doors of mercy. Alright, because he's giving He's giving ample time for Jake to turn back from their wickedness, but we know only the elect is going to turn back from their wickedness. All right. It says, the same must know it after death by pain. Yeah, man. So the Lord, man, he, like the scripture say, like the brother Nathan quoted earlier, the known and terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Because the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh Bashi Nashad, can bring some shit upon you, man, that you can't even imagine. And right. he's going to make you feel that shit. All right. And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is, and for whom the world is created. Right, so only we we really only supposed to be worried about the elect. But the people of this world, you know, the Lord, He already got them slated for death. And I also you know in the, when it comes to the people of this world, there are still some elect among the world that haven't been waking up yet, but the Lord is gonna wake them in due time. But mm -hmm. those who are slated for eternal death and destruction, I already know the are slated to uh to be judged by way of second death and they're coming by way of nuclear destruction. I know also the Lord your house try and the holy angels added to it to concentrate the residue from the chariots. Alright, those who are destined to die by that, all right, we don't need to worry about them because they they, they, they destiny or they fate is sealed shut. Alright, and the Lord is not gonna change it. If I'm going to your point, I was talking about you know those who haven't been awakened yet. It makes me think of the terminal that was uh, next to your house shot on the cross. You know, he said to him, you know, this day you would be with me in paradise. Mm -hmm. You know, and that, that, this dude was on his deathbed, you know, like right, right there at, at the door. And, and he was gone to paradise, just like that. So, yeah. Thank you. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 55. Mm -hmm. And therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the most high, mm -hmm. and thought scorn of his law, and forsook his ways. All right, man, so I just been told, the Lord telling me, just, hey, man, you know, don't worry about them, all right? And they, they've had a chance after chance after chance, and they don't want to listen. So what I'm going to do? Right, I'm going to put them to death. <laughs> hey, what? That's why I said what? Lift up a man of, uh, lift a man of pray prayer for his people. people. Pray for his people. Jeremiah 15. Yeah. The, Lord, the Lord said, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, my face will not be towards his people. All right? Uh, verse 57. <laughs> Moreover, they have tried down his righteousness mm -hmm. and said in their heart that there is no God. Mm -hmm. Yea, and that knowing, they must die. Said you must die. All right, now you trying down the righteous coming up against the men of the Lord. All right, even in times of old, and even in times now. Like, you know, you had a wicked, a wicked people of Judah. I right, was it through Jeremiah to like a pit or something like that. Mm -hmm. and because ultimately, they they, didn't, they hated the word of the Lord, ultimately. All right? Mm -hmm. Even though... Uh, that's why I go to your house, I say, you know, fill you up the measure of, of your fathers. And the same ones that was trying to persecute the prophets, you know, harm the prophets back then, all the same ones trying to do the same thing now. Now, the Lord, your house, watch me outside, got a force foot around us. That's where y'all can't even harm us. I mean, he, and he's going to keep that around us. All right? Verse 59. For as the things aforesaid shall receive you, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. For it was not his will that men should come to not. But they which are but they which be created have defiled the name of them that made them and were unthankful to them for was prepared life for them, and therefore it's my judgment now at hand. I said pretty much you know, I said it's a it's a separation, because like I said, he said uh for as the things uh, for a force that shall receive you, meaning what? He's receiving the kingdom. Receiving that righteousness, receiving that everlasting life. That's what the elect are going to receive. But as far as the two thirds, you know, like I say, I always say the heat is disqualified. They prove it. But two thirds, so thirst and pain are prepared for them. But it was not his will that men should come to life. So all the bad things, like my brother was going through, like all the horrible things, the horrendous things, all the painful ways of death and destruction, and all just all now women are just you know evil things are going to come to the two thirds, right? You know, like I say, going to be thirsty, going to be you know famine going to come to you. Pain, violence, you know, death, and destruction, desolation, is prepared for the two thirds, the undesirables. And they say, but they must be 
this thing which be created has defiled the name of him that made them, right? And they defiled the name of him by doing what? Father, if it's other gods, God. forsaken his ways, forsaken the laws, you know, saying there is no God, you know, saying doing all men are with wickedness, right? Because as we read previously, it said the, uh, in verse 2 Corinthians 9, it said what? It have not known. So they ain't, they don't know what happened. The Lord, you know, he, he named us, or named us, but who are uh, the curses and discontinued for our heritage, they don't know. It. And not only do they not know it, they don't acknowledge you or, you know, or recognize you. Right. You get what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so, like, so that's why I say, for it was not his will that men should come to not, because he, he created men to be immortal. You know what I'm saying? The Israelite man at that. Not all, not everybody, but the Israelite man, because he made them in his name. He gave them, he gave us the law of commandments. He gave us the ways of eternal life, mm -hmm. everlasting life. But since we fail, like I said, then it say what? It is not his will that we should come to not, so it really was on us, because the scripture say what? That the, uh, that the, the creature, that what was that? Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Romans 8 and 20. Mm -hmm. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. Because ultimately it's the Lord's, it's the Lord's will. So yeah, of course he created us to be righteous, but also, it, hey, it's a balance. We have those that he created to be righteous and those that created to be wicked. Now like I said, we all have fallen short, you know, uh, fallen short of the, uh, oh, right. mm -hmm. yeah, the, the fall short of the work. The well, that really, that verse, that, uh, verse 21, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the body of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of Yahweh. Kind of. So ultimately, you know, uh, that what that's going into, you know, us being delivered from the bondage of corruption is being delivered from this flesh. Mm -hmm. I know the more y'all watch me outside, translating us from this flesh, right, to, you know, bodies where we can't go off, right, to where we'd be perfect, right, you know, because the Lord is going to put his law in our inward part, to where we don't go off, and we don't have to worry about being in the wicked flesh, you know, worrying about wicked thoughts, you know, having to worry about the flesh in general, because the Lord is going to make us perfect in general, all right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, get your words up, uh, you yeah. know, just to back up uh, what Amawa said, you know, that the Lord's going to make us perfect, right? It says in Ezekiel 30, chapter 36 and verse 26, yeah. it says, A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. Mm -hmm. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, mm -hmm. and I will give you a heart of flesh. All right, and that heart of flesh, that's going into a, a, a perfect body. All right, we're going to have, we're going to be a... Uh, be changed to, to be perfect in the sight of Yahweh by seeing outside to the point to, the, to where we don't go off and sin, all right, because when we sin and we go off, that's going to provoke the, the Lord into anger, all right, and, and you know, it's just like how it said, uh, the, the creature was a subject to, to vanity, you know, so the uh, as a whole, you know, starting with the elect, all right, the elect, they're going to get uh, uh, those new bodies, and then it, it, in the kingdom of heaven, the, uh, the rest of the uh, nation of Israel is, is going to have uh, perfect bodies as well. So, you know, the Lord, the Lord taking out that stone of heart, right, that stone of heart, you know, represents our stubbornness, our, our rebellion, our, us being hard hearted, all right? You know, us being hard hearted is what caused us right, to stray away from the how about you outside and be disobedient unto him. Right, but the Lord is going to make it to where and he's going to remove that stony heart and remove any you know, trace of rebellion, any trace of stubbornness out of us. I right, know well, we're going to be able to follow his ways to the best, a hundred percent, not even the best of our abilities, a hundred percent. All right, we're going to be ultimately and utterly perfect. All right. All right. With that said, we hope this lesson was edifying for the body. Once again, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, Hashem, Hakadosh. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great millstone who were well in teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akin who live in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the whole four elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel scattered to the four corners of the earth. To you, we say Shalom. Shalom. Ababa Ba. Ababa Ba. Kwam Yashirala. Kwam Yashirala. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.